when you begin to realize that I must develop my own character quickly, you become a leader at a young age because leadership requires you to develop your character and conduct to be able to address those who oppose you strongly with utmost respect. You're a leader. We are proud of you. If I can stand up in front of you and say, my sister, my child, my brother, whoever it may be. Firstly, I did not call you bad names, right? I addressed you as a brother, as a sister or as sir or madam or whoever it may be. I very strongly disagree with what you have said because of A, B and C. Wow, was it wrong to say that? It wasn't. I disagreed. But was I respectful? And I can smile with it and I can go and greet them later on. Or if I'm talking to them, I make them consider what I'm saying. Because if I disagreed as an intellectual, surely there should be reason for my disagreement. And if I am a strong person, a powerful person is the one who is prepared to give up their opinions when they are proven totally wrong. When you are proven totally wrong, someone tells you, listen, it's wrong because of so, so and so. And you might want to give back. They will give back. You give back. They will give back. And at the end of the day, you say, you know what? I was actually wrong. You were right. It requires a very strong person, a leader to actually acknowledge, you know what? What you said is better. Look at the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He had Jibreel come to him and reveal what Allah had instructed. So he had a link with Allah, right? But still Allah told him, Allah says, your companions, those around you, consult them regarding their opinions in certain matters, in certain matters. So if you take a look at, for example, the Battle of the Trench. Anyone knows whose idea it was to actually dig the trench? Put up your hand. Yes. Salman al-Farisi. May Allah be pleased with all of them. Salman was an outsider. He was a foreigner. He was not from among the community. He was not from their lineage either. He was not from their race to begin with. But when he came up with an opinion, did the Prophet peace be upon him say no? We don't want to listen to this guy because he's not from us. Or did he say, you know what? This person comes from a different race. He embraced it completely. He said, that is what it is. Let's do it. They did it. What did it result in? That entire war, the uh, Mushrikeen of Makkah or the people of Makkah were left surprised. And they had to leave after some time. And Allah sent help in various ways. But the point is, here is a leader acknowledging that your opinion, although I am the leader, but your opinion was what we actually took. So with us here, what we want from you, my beloved children, is to quickly develop yourselves and realize you must be responsible. Build your character. Look at how you talk. Look at how you carry yourself be respectful in the way you carry yourself the way you communicate and don't waste your time with that which is futile you're allowed to play games you're allowed to participate in sport you're allowed to be on your phone but there needs to be a limited time on that because if you are not doing something constructive and, and productive with your phone I'm giving you an example of the phone, but it's anything. Then you would be wasting your time, your life. And th these years where you are being molded, we don't want the mold to come out the wrong shape. Sometimes you make a big mistake when you're a teenager. May Allah protect all of us, our boys and girls. We pray for you. We want to see goodness for the nation and for the ummah and for humanity at large. We want to see positive growth. I've got children of my own. I am worried about what will happen in the next generations. If on the globe, there is so much of intolerance. It's scary. People are at war for small reasons. It is avoidable. It is avoidable. So what do we have to do? We empower you with 
the ability to discuss, the ability to resolve, the ability to sit around the table and understand. Let's talk with those we don't even want to look at because we will need to do that for the betterment of humanity at large. There it goes. So if you're going to take so much of time in that which is futile at this age, you know what? You're being molded, man. The blunder that is made sometimes is so enormous, it lasts with you for the rest of your life. Allah would have forgiven you. That is something that is a given by the will of Allah. You seek forgiveness, He forgives. But the harsh reality, this is what it is. Sometimes together with that, you have to live for a long, long time with that particular item. I don't wish to give you examples, but you can think of a few. Right? You're intelligent, perhaps more intelligent than I am. And you're young, minds are fresh. Use them in something good. I'm not saying don't play, enjoy yourself. We have to also not forget this worldly life.